Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I'm gonna bring you another uh, video on the power boxes. This is an Atella, and full disclosure, this was sent to me absolutely free. Uh, they're paying me nothing for the video, and I am not signed up for their uh, associates program, their sales affiliates, uh, to make a commission. So the link I give you goes directly to their site. I make nothing off the sales. I do not want the sale of, of these items because they're cost of items. Uh, I don't want a commission because I don't want to be influenced in any way. So I'm bringing these, and it's fun. I have the greatest, greatest job uh, to play with solar and to see what's out there. So this is the Atella uh, IT500, and it is 19 pounds. It is a 500 watt inverter, and it will surge up to 750. So this will not run your refrigerator, it won't run your microwave. Um, it's made for other things. It'll run a TV, a VCR, DVD, uh, a lot of small appliances charging computers and phones and tablets but the purpose I'm bringing this to you is I get so many people asking they ha I have a CPAP or an oxygen concentrator um, and especially for the CPAP this would work great with a CPAP machine um, and this one has the lithium iron phosphate that's the battery that is the safest lithium out there for these small units it's the best uh, so kudos for them putting a lithium iron phosphate battery in here uh, this particular one has the 500 watt hour battery, 500 watts. Now that's a little confusing because this unit and most small units like this actually takes power to run it. You have a fan, you have the inverter, so it's you don't truly get 500 watts out of it. Uh, that's for sure. I think this one probably gets less than 400, probably closer to 375. Um, so there is a discrepancy like that, but it's, they're all like that. They all have to use power to run the fan and run the inverter. So let's just dive into this. Um, to turn it on, push the power button and hold for three seconds. And there you go. I uh, hope you can see that screen. Uh, it's a good screen. Uh, it tells you what you have in the unit, you're at 100%. It tells you how many watts are coming into it, which is zero, and it tells you how many watts you're using because there's nothing plugged into it. It does have a light on the side. Pushing that button turns that light on, which is nice. Now, to turn your AC power on, you have to push and hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Um, and now you can use your two outlets. These outlets, uh, this button has to be turned on so remember that it also has DC and you have everything you're gonna need to charge things from from tablets to just regular USB um, you also have the adapter that comes with it so you can have two cigarette lighter type products this one and this one and they're 10 amps so this is what I would recommend for a CPAP machine by using the DC you will It'll be more, much more efficient because you won't be running the inverter um, and it's more efficient use of your power. So remember that. If you got a CPAP, use the DC side uh, and run it that way. Now, this is the one I've been using in the back of my shop to run my lights. And so I've been using it for a couple months. So I've thoroughly tested this one out. Um, the lights have no problems charging computers, uh, even charging my DeWalt, all my DeWalt batteries. Uh, absolutely no problem. It is a very heavy duty. Um, it has two great handles, so you don't have to worry about that. Going over here, it does come with a very nice case to carry all the accessories. Some some companies don't give you a case, uh, so you got to find a bag or something. But they provided this. This is the power supply to charge it off of grid power, or if you're running a generator, and you need to charge it that way. Now, a negative about this is it doesn't charge as fast as some of the bigger ones. Um, it's probably going to take about, if you take it all the way down, it's going to take four and a half to five hours to charge this up using a generator or a wall unit. But realistically, it's not that bad because normally I don't take it down that far. Uh, and normally you wouldn't take it down that far, especially running a CPAP machine. Uh, you can also charge it off your vehicle. Now that takes a lot longer. Um, or you have the option of charging it with solar panels. Uh, this panel came to me with this unit, came to me absolutely free. Let me show you. I like the size of this panel. Most of the panels that they make, other companies make, they're about that size and then they just fold in half. This folds 
in four pieces. Um, this panel right here is not as efficient as if you got one of the glass fronted panels that you normally see and you think of uh, it's a solar panel, the ones that go outside. But this one is very actually good for the efficiency for this type of folding panel. Um, this unit can take four of these, so you can actually buy an adapter and if you had four of these panels, uh, that means you could charge this unit very quickly very quickly less than an hour and a half two hours you're probably fully charged and it also depends on the sun right now it's not a good day for charging this charging panel also comes with this and what this will do for you is if you don't want to charge your cell phone using your big box you can actually plug it in here it has usb ports uh, one on each side so you have two and that way you can just use this if you want to just charge your phone or charge something small it also comes with all your adapters so you can uh, use this panel on a lot of other products that are out there comes with four carabiners so you can hang it up I like the size of this because it actually folds up very small so if you wanted to put it in a Faraday box a Faraday cage uh, Faraday away uh, it's very easy to do that so the instructions they come with very self-explanatory nothing difficult with this unit at all um, it's very easy they'll tell you how to hook everything up so this unit um, I think it's on sale right now and the company has a code on their website so I'll send you directly to the website but I think it's $4.79, but it's on sale for $3.79 for the unit itself. And if you buy the unit and the solar panel, uh, it's six seventy, dollars but it's actually on sale for $5.34. So $5.34 is not a bad price, especially if you're needing something for like a CPAP machine. I'm comparing this now if I had to run a generator. If I had to run a generator to keep a CPAP machine running, uh, usually m most generators are bigger than this so I could run other things but at night if I had to run it uh, that'd be consuming a lot of fuel and at five dollars a gallon for fuel um, these things are becoming very cost effective to run a, a, a piece of medical equipment um, it wouldn't take long if you bought this whole thing five hundred thirty four dollars to run through a bunch of fuel running a generator uh, to keep that CPAP machine running so this is the Atella, and I've had zero problems with it. It's on the smaller side, but the price is a lot smaller than some of those bigger units that have a bigger price tag. So price point is excellent. The unit and the solar panel is excellent. Now this unit also comes with an adapter that you don't see here that you can use it to plug in to a regular solar panel with MC4. I am actually has that cable on my coming into my building uh, hooked up to two 100 watt panels that are permanently mounted outside so I don't have to worry about the weather so if you're thinking maybe uh, you want to go that route and not go with the folding panel it's very doable to buy some panels uh, on Amazon or locally and that way you'll have a waterproof panel outside at all times so if you got any questions shoot them down in the comment section um, just full disclosure, I get paid absolutely nothing to do this video. It's just a privilege to be a sent these things, to evaluate them, to play around with them. And this unit will be given away probably today uh, to a prepper in the area that would surely can use this and need this. Thanks for watching.